I fired Rusty up and she's, the squawk has gone. Um, I had to bleed it all through again so I had to get the top off and unfortunately with this tank in the way it's difficult to get the top off but I did get it off. Um, I'm going to have to reposition these as they were bolted to the top which actually was only going to be a temporary affair and uh, so now it's uh, persuaded me to not to move them but to make a separate bracket up for them. Um, while she was running this lot was shaking about like Concord. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, bolt um, a 50mm uh, flat bar to here and, and, and bring her down to here. Two of them, one each side and that will strengthen that up. Um, I know this is all temporary here but I want it all to run right. Uh, obviously all this lot will go as soon as she's in the boat because it is only temporary all this sort of thing will be bolted to the to the bulkhead of the boat and of course the tank will have its uh, tank on the uh, day tank on the um, bulkhead and the main tank of the boat anyway so that both of those will go but she's running sweetly and uh, I couldn't talk to you while she was running but um, it's all good oil pressure's up an extra 10 psi uh, before that was only going up to 20 it now goes up to 30 and the same with the one on the front she runs up to 30 as well so all that's good um, the temperature went up to about 50 53 um, whilst I was running that 53 uh, degrees and uh, Let's see what, yeah, 53 degrees. So she's still hot in there. Um, but obviously not hot enough to open up the thermostat and need to be pumped around. So that was all good. So she ran for quite some time. And um, the smoke smoked a little bit on cold start, as diesels do. Um, but she soon uh, quietened down and uh, the... Um, the, the smoke disappeared so that's good as she got hotter um, I've done some plumbing here ready for the oil cooler uh, that's there I'm, obviously the gearbox isn't here at the moment but uh, done the plumbing fitted a little pump there little Davies Craig pump sort of thing you'd fit to a, a rally car or something uh, so that's all solid on there and all ready to go off to its um, skin tank when it's on the boat um, uh, but apart from that so I did a few other little jobs that I needed to do and um, all this seems to be fine and uh, I've got some more brackets so that's nice and tight now they're both tight and uh, nothing ended up wrapped around the flywheel start and motor worked beautifully she stopped ticked over, ran faster and slowed down when I, when I turned the wheel, speed wheel and um, it's all good so far. Obviously new oil in there, filled her up with brand new oil and I decided in the end to use Alfred's 2050 classic car oil. It's a classic old engine, it needs thicker oil really and uh, she's got thicker oil and uh, I'm pleased now that I've uh, got all the oil ways working and everything's good so um, if you like I'll give her a quick fire up whilst we're on just so that you know I'm not fibbing I think I'll put everything back where it should go I put all, I had the tops off and run it with the tops off you see and I put all them back on. Yeah that's all good. Let's decompress it whilst we wind her over. Push button to start. 